I'm Dave from Notable, where we're building the most collaborative notebook platform that puts your whole team from data science, analysis, engineering, marketing, and sales on the same page to work on data together in a single platform. In this demo, I'll showcase how easy Notable makes it to access data, bring everyone together with data, and work with data the way you want. Let's dig in. Now let's look how easy it is to access data within Notable. I've already uploaded a pair of CSV files to my project, but I can always add more at any point by clicking the Add Files option. Let's go explore this data, though. One of the easiest ways to do it is actually using a SQL cell against these local CSV files. I'll show you how to do that. Simply change the cell from Python to SQL. So you see by default, it's querying against all local CSV files and data frames. So let's go in here and say select star from the CSV file. And let's return the data. And what we see here is a very simple table view. What makes Notable really powerful is its rich no-code data wrangling and data visualization capabilities, which we can get into simply by clicking the Explore button here. To support data wrangling, this table now has a lot more functionality. You can see simple distributions of the data for each column. We can easily sort any of the columns. We can change the summary statistics of the column down at the bottom. We can create simple filters of the data by brushing around on the columns. And later get rid of them if we choose to. We can even do things like reorder the columns and rename the columns. Renamed. As well as change the visibility of what columns that we see in this table. This all helps you easily make sense out of that data when you're first starting to do your exploration. And now let's look at how Notable's no-code visualization capabilities really empowers you to explore your data. So I'm going to look at another data set here that I've uploaded. In this case, I'm reading it in as a pandas data frame. And just like before, we're going to click the Explore button here to get started. And you'll notice that rich data wrangling table that we just previously saw is being displayed. But also now on the left, this new sidebar open, which shows the variety of different data visualization capabilities that Notable provides. And starting off with the basic chart section here, we see a number of commonly used chart types, such as word cloud, scatter plot, bar chart, pie charts, and even tile maps. And of course, at any point, I can update the settings of the chart based on the controls here at the left. So in this case, I want to update the background of the map to be dark mode. I can also do things like apply conditional formatting here. So if I want to color this chart based on a column, I go in here and create rule. I'm going to do it based on the price column, and I want it to be a gradient. Hit create. And there it's updated the visualization. I can now save this as a unique visualization for this uh, output. So I'll save that as a map view for one. And I can go save another one here, the scatter plot. I'll just call this my new viz. Hit save. I've created a couple other ones too, and you can see these now when I click this drop down, I can see a list of the viz types that I've saved. One of the cool things I can do here is I now can bookmark these. So I can bookmark that, let's do the map one, and let's do this word cloud one as well. And now for a user of this notebook, they see these simple bookmark vizs over at the left, and they can toggle back and forth between them um, as they're examining this notebook. But so far as we're working against local CSV files, let's see how easy it is to connect to an external data warehouse to query my data. Over the Data Connections tab here at the left, you can see I've already set up a demo connection to BigQuery, but it's easy to go through the process to do a new connection if you need to. In order then to query against that data, again, I'm going to use a SQL cell here, but instead of using the default CSV files and data frames database, I'm going to be using the BigQuery demo connection that you see I've set up on the left here. I can then enter my SQL and execute that cell, and it's going to run a query against that external data warehouse. And just like before, we'll click the Explore button here to get started. Now, this is a simple two-column data frame, so not a lot to do within the data table, but we can look at a variety of different visualizations that may help us understand the data. And again, we can do simple things like conditional formatting to apply color based on a field in the data. So in this case here, based on total facilities, let's make it a gradient. Create. Let's go look beyond the basic chart types, because Notable supports a wide variety of different visualization types that may help us make sense of this data, in particular in the map section here, is a choropleth map. Because this is state level data, this is a great way to visualize that data. But there's a number of other visualization types in here that may help you make sense of your data, such as funnel charts, part to whole charts, relationship charts, and more. Next, I want to show how easy it is to share and collaborate with a notable. If I want to share access to this notebook with one of my coworkers, I simply click the share button at the top, search for the name, and then pick the access level that I want to give them. In this case, I'll make them a commenter. If they don't have an account already, I can simply click the invite external people to join, enter their email address, and they'll get an invitation link to join. 
A couple more things to mention before I finish up this tour. All throughout the editing process of this notebook, Notable is automatically keeping track of the changes that I made and saving them to autosave versions that we can see here on the right. At any point though, I can actually save a name save version. So first draft of demo is complete. You'll see it show up there on the versioning sidebar. And to wrap up, I want to talk about how Notable helps you work with the data the way you want. You saw me during this demo use the Notable interface myself, but Notable notebooks can also be run programmatically through integrations we support with popular orchestration services such as Dagster or Airflow. This is a really powerful way to productionalize your work by integrating it into a much larger workflow. Hope you enjoyed this demo, and I hope to see you using Notable Notebooks soon. Thanks.